What's up, guys? Just want to make a quick video to go over a couple things with you. So, um, going just finished going through my progress reports in my inbox, and what I wanted to share with you guys is a couple of things. So, um, one, the, obviously the complaint that I, I told everybody at orientation they would hear, and no one believed me. Like, all right, I'm not going to be on a diet and not be able to eat all my food. And a lot of people are like this is a lot of food. So. I get that it's a lot of food, right? But understand, so there's there's two things. One is your body's not used to eating that much food, especially when it's clean food. You'd be amazed at how much food you can eat when it's clean and not processed and crappy for you, right? So you found that out very quickly the first week. Um, keep in mind, too, that your body has to adjust to this. So um, don't eat to the point of puking, but remember that as your coach, because this challenge is different and it's based on macros every single day, right? So. If you aren't consistently hitting your macros every day, we as your coach need to know that in your progress reports. And the reason I say it is because it's very hard for us to adjust things if we don't know how consistent you're being. It doesn't make sense for us to move things until you're consistent. So what I have told people, and then honestly what we're trying to do, is the first two weeks we're not going to adjust anything. Um, we're not gonna adjust anything until the end of next week when you send in your progress reports because we don't need to. Um, it's only been four days since you turned in your first report. That doesn't give us enough information to go on of how your body's responding. Now, most of the progress reports that I went through on my team were incredible. Um, everybody who really did their, did their due diligence and hit the macros um, really had great results. And even the people, um, if it's your first challenge, and, or even if you're just getting used to how we're doing this challenge, um, you, you guys did great and understand that it's only been four days. You're gonna mess up. You're going to learn things a lot of people are like I didn't realize I had to count this or I didn't realize this or I didn't realize that but you know what you picked it up on it You realize you were doing something wrong and then you fixed it and that's the point guys remember progress over perfection, right? Like we're not gonna be perfect. We're never gonna do everything the right way But as long as we're learning and we're not making the same mistake twice and we're moving forward imagine if you do that over 12 weeks, how great you're gonna be at this. It's gonna be absolutely incredible, guys. And so think about it long term. So always take a big step back and go long term. Even in the first week, how much did I learn? I mean, look at it, in four or five days, you learned a ton of information and that's the best part. So I wanna commend you guys on that. But the second thing I wanna go over is I, I've had a lot of people asking about cheat meals and it's mainly people from our old challenges, um, current members who are asking about a cheat meal. And I'm gonna explain something to you very quickly. So this way, if you're a new challenger or, or, or an older member, uh, current member of our program, um, you kind of know exactly what's going on. So if you're not hitting your macros consistently and you're deviating from the plan and you're having little mini cheat here or there, why would I give you a cheat meal? That doesn't make any sense. So if you're not hitting your macros consistently, I don't know how your body's responding. Why would I then want to sabotage your body and just flood it with a bad meal? As, as a nutrition coach, I would never do that. That doesn't make any sense. So I'm gonna tell you guys the same thing. If, if you really want to earn a cheat meal, okay, because remember, we will announce, we will tell you when you can have a cheat meal, we will give you a game plan for when you're gonna have your cheat meal, but understand that not everybody might be having one. And the reason I say is because if you're not being consistent for a two week period, why would I then sabotage you and make you start back at the beginning when I don't know how your body's actually responding to the numbers that I'm putting into it? As a coach, that doesn't make any sense. So understand that a cheat meal is earned. It is not a given. You don't just automatically get one. You have to be consistent. The reason you have to be consistent is that way your coach can see exactly how your body's responding. Um, that's why we do cheat meals on this program. It's, it's going to help um, boost your metabolism, spike those insulin levels back up. So that's why we're gonna do it. But in order to earn one, you have to be consistent, okay? Um, the way that this program works is you're eating a balanced diet. You have carbs, you have fat, you have high protein. You shouldn't need one every single week. And you don't, honestly. If you wanna see the best results, you don't need one probably at all. Um, to be completely honest with you, maybe once or twice over the course of 12 weeks. But that being said, if your coach decides that you are allowed to have a cheat meal or you think that you've been consistent enough and you've seen the results that you've wanted to see and you deserved a cheat meal whenever we designate that you can have one, um, understand that you need to be consistent in order for that to happen. If you're not being consistent and you're already, you know, oh, well, I went out and I had girls night, so I, you know, I messed up on my macros or I went out and, you know, I went out to dinner and did this, I messed up on my macros or I went out and blah, blah, blah. It doesn't matter what the case is. You already had a cheat. You're not getting one. Period, end of story, I don't wanna hear it. Um, and the reason I said, I'm not trying to be harsh, but ultimately I can't, your coach can't possibly predict 
the forecast of your body. It has to be consistent effort or I don't know how changing things is going to help you. Do you, do you see what I'm saying? Do you understand the, the principle behind it now? Because uh, those are the two of like the bigger questions that I've been getting. So I just wanted to explain that really quickly. Um, but overall, guys, for, for week one, for the reports I've seen so far, is they, they've been absolutely incredible. Um, speaking of reports, the reason that we want them in by noon, guys, and the reason that we're such a stickler on these by Friday at noon is your, your trainers work all week. <laughs> And it's not fair to them to, to, honestly, it's not fair to them to have to sit at their computer every single day, all weekend, and answer reports. When they sit down to do reports, they should be able to sit down, do their reports, and then have a day or two to not um, have to worry about work, right? You guys do it. On your weekends, you don't work seven-day weeks. Um, I don't expect my people to either. Um, that's, just, that's just not fair to them. So the reason I ask you guys to do that is because what I have them do is they send me a report of reports that they're missing once they've cleared out their inboxes on Friday. So I've told my team that you need to do it by Friday so that way I can release the list on Saturday. So they'll probably check it on Sunday or Monday, but ultimately um, that's why we have you do it um, on Friday in Holland is because I want to be able to see who's missing their reports every week so that we can you know, announce it so you can get those in. But it's very, very unfair to your coach to do that. Um, they should not have to work extra special for you because you didn't want to do something that takes five minutes to fill out. That's not fair, guys. Um, so please be aware of that. Um, if there's any other questions going on, though, remember, week two, your macros aren't changing. You're doing the same consistent thing. Um, your weight loss should actually pick up now that it's been four or five days. Your body should start to get used to that. Metabolism starts to be revving up. Um, so be aware that, you know, you're not going to have, remember how when we used to do in the old channels, we used to do this deeply weeks where you have like a bigger week. You're going to have decent weeks every single week, right? Because your body's getting used to this. So the only time we need to change your macros is when you stall out. So understand, again, in order to adjust your macros as a coach, consistency is key. So I just wanted to explain to you guys a little bit about the consistency, the cheat meals, um, and, and then just a, a little thing on the reports too. But thank you guys so much for this first week. I am going to go watch a little bit of football, and then I'm going to come down and check my emails again. So have a great, great rest of your weekend, and we'll see you Monday.